Hello YouTube, this is the fifth video in our Minesweeper JavaScript and Canvas game development series. In this video we're going to be creating a function that checks if a bomb was clicked or not. Um, so we're going to start off by getting rid of this old console log from the last video. And inside our onClick function we will <coughs> wait to check where the user has clicked and then we're going to create a for loop that will um, determine if that xy value corresponds to an xy value in our bombs array. Um, so we'll use var i again. And inside of that, we will be doing an if statement. If clicked x corresponds to bombs i zero, and clicked y corresponds to bombs i one, then it's a bomb. Um, and we will call the lose function, which we'll make later. Um, I'll add it to the bottom of our functions list, though. Uh, and if not, let's see. Okay, what we have to do is create a variable var clicked bomb and that will be a boolean um, variable. So if they click a bomb then we'll set this equal to true otherwise we won't mess with it. Um, and if after the for loop has run through 10 times, the clicked bomb is still equal to false, then we know the user hasn't clicked a bomb. So we can make an if statement if it's still equal to false. Um, and here we'll set it equal to true if, it, if the user clicks on a bomb. If clicked bomb is equal to false, then we um, want to check for bombs around it uh, and we'll be doing that in the next video. I've been trying to make videos shorter so that we get um, so that people don't lose it, their attention and stuff like that and because that way I get more views. Um, yeah so that's it for this video we'll be working on an actual function for when you don't click on a bomb in the next video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.